Hi guys, we are here with another video for my design team, <coughs> excuse me, for August 2018. This month I've challenged them with the words ornate, imagine, and believe. I created a scroll work style digital download for them, which you all can buy a copy of in the Etsy store. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description below, but if I forget, somebody remind me, because <laughs> um, I do forget. Uh, I also wanted to show you some new things I've created recently um, in my Etsy shop. I am going to do that while I'm creating a journal page. So I found this word in my stash of words, imagine. This was sent to me by somebody in Happy Mail. They obviously, um, to me it looks like they sprayed it with spray inks and then did some stamping on it. So, And it has scroll work and fancy doodles on it. So I thought that would work really well. I've got my Moleskin 2017 weekly notebook, which is what I've been working in. It has kind of thin paper, as you can see, because you can see the images on the other side through it. But I like that. I think it's interesting and challenging. We're going to start with putting a little bit of color down, not too much. I just want to put, I'm just going to grab one. This is a light sky blue Amsterdam um, acrylic paint. And I'm going to just put, a, just like that, that's probably too much even. And maybe a little bit of yellow, so this is Naples Yellow. Naples Yellow Deep. I love these little tiny tubes because um, they're easy to travel with. So if you are uh, want to, wanting to take um, paints with you when you're traveling, maybe going camping, um, or uh, maybe you're just doing um, art in a different area of your house, um, these little tubes are easier to take than the big giant ones. I'm going to just spread that with a gift card. I've got some pieces of thin plastic cutting boards protecting the other pages in the book. Uh, I pick the cutting boards up at the Dollar Tree. You get two of them for a dollar. Two or three. I think it's two. They're just clear plastic and then I cut them to size uh, to fit my different journals. They cut real easy with a regular paper cutter. Okay. So now we're going to put this up here for a minute. I have been lately into paper cutting. If you're watching my channel and you're a regular viewer, you already know this because there's been a couple videos out. It's been in my vlog at least once. I took some of my paper cuts and I scanned them and made them into files that you can either hand cut or um, trace and use in your cutting system machine. I have a silhouette. Hang on, that's my washing machine. Hang it's on. so loud. Um, these are, I also sell a few of the sets already pre-cut in my Etsy shop. Um, again, I'll put a link to the shop in the description below. You can look around and see if you can find these things. Um, these are some of the off cuts, the ones that didn't quite make it or the whole set came out correctly except for one and then I can't sell it because it's short of one. So anyway, so I have a whole bunch of these and that's what these are. So I do think we're going to use some of these today on our page. I also have created recently a, a download bundle um, of images and designs that you can use to print on top of one another to create sticker sheets and print them on. This is an Avery full sheet sticker sheet um, and create stickers or washi tape. Um, I love it and I did cut some of it up into washi tape. When I was creating these, I accidentally printed this plain background on this plain printer paper. And you know what? I love it. So you could of course take any of these and print them by themselves onto regular printer paper. Now each one of these, so you can see that this is here in the background, that's one layer, and then the color is another layer, and the files are created in the download so that you have these separately, um, so you can combine whichever ones you want. So we're going to use some of that too. I've also created recently some positive affirmation cards for the Etsy shop. It's again another download with instructions for how to make the cards in the description of the listing. 
and I was making some cards of the cards the other day, and these are sort of the leftover pieces. So I have those two. I don't know if we'll use them, but they're out here on the table. They're very totally usable. So let's see what we can make. Let's keep our challenge words in mind. I'm going to, of course, use the word imagine. I've got this here. That's going to look great on our page. And uh, I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to speed forward through the process. I'll be right back.
okay, there you go. A quick, easy, fun page. I love it. And I, I, the thing that surprises me about this page is I'm not a huge yellow and green fan, but I love this page. Uh, anyway, this just shows what you can do with just a few simple things laying around your art room to be expressive, get some art in, um, you know, make yourself happy. That's what it's all about. The design team has come up with some great ideas this month. Um, so I want to encourage you to go watch their videos. The links are all in the description below. And don't forget to check out my Etsy shop. If you have a chance, support my channel and the free content here on YouTube by shopping in my store. I sure would appreciate it. Um, the most important thing, of course, is go out, make some art, have some fun, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.